Henri Kalmar Carlyle was a mech warrior who lived during the late Succession Wars and the Clan Invasion. She rose to the position of Exo of the famous Grey Death Legion, eventually marrying its commander, Grayson Death Carlyle. In 3065, Lori even took over command of the Legion after her husband's death and held that position to her own demise later during the same year. Military Career Kalmar joined a periphery military unit and was one of the few mech warriors that attacked Trail 1 as employed by Duke Hasid Rakel to wrestle control of the planet from the Lyran Commonwealth. She piloted a Locust battle mech during the operation, but was forced to surrender when Grayson Carlyle threatened to launch an inferno round into her mech. Her fear of fire caused her to freeze and eventually surrender to the young commander. Kalmar worked together with Carlyle to eventually overthrow Rykel's forces. Carlyle secured a Shadowhawk during the rebellion and Kalmar was again given command over Locust. When Trail 1 was free, she and several Trail 1 natives who had become part of the fledging unit left the planet and traveled to Galatea, where they found employment as trainers to the Verthandi Revolutionary Council. Kalmar was captured by General Nagamu's troops and faced her deep-seated fear of fire, overcoming her fear to attack her interrogator and save Carlyle's life. Carlyle again commandeered a mech, this time a marauder, and Kalmar received the Shadowhawk after her mech was destroyed defending Verthandi infantry. During the campaign on Helm, Kalmar and Carlyle realized their love for each other and the two became lovers. They later married and had a son, Alexander. Fedcom Civil War and Death Kalmar has piloted two primary mechs in combat, the Locust and the Shadowhawk. She was highly adept in piloting both mech designs despite their design differences. The Shadowhawk, called Boss Lady, was lost on Glengarry during Marshal Brandel's Gareth assault in 3057 during Operation Excalibur, and she piloted a replacement Zeus later that year during the Legion's fight on Hairpurse 2 against the Marshal, losing it at the end of the battle. She later briefly piloted Grayson's victor after he died until her own death on her burst 2 in 65. This next part is from the saga of the Grey Death Legion. Lori Kalmar is a tall, blonde, attractive woman who began her career on Sigurd, a bitterly cold world in Bandit King Hendrix of Oberon's empire beyond the Inner Sphere. As a raw apprentice, she and several other junior mech pilots were assigned to a task force commanded by Duke Rykal of the Draconis Combine as part of a secret deal cut with Minor Warlord under Hendrik III. She was captured on trail by Grace and Carlisle, but later switched sides to serve with him first as a tech and later as a full-fledged mech warrior. Kalmar has one significant weakness in combat. As a survivor of a fire that destroyed her home and killed her parents when she was a child, she is terrified of death by fire. Tormented on this account by her own self-doubts, Lori shares a close, if occasional, stormy relationship with Grayson Carlyle, who has helped her face her fears. Despite this weakness, Lori Kalmar is a skillful and resourceful warrior. Carlyle recognized these qualities when he commissioned her in the field. Four times, she commanded the Grey Death's Fire Lance. At her own request, she later transferred back to Carlyle's Lance, where she could, as she put it, keep an eye on the chief. Welcome back, Mech Warriors. This is Old Bob 10025 with Lori Kalmar's mechs. Uh, first, she had the the Locust 1V, and then she had the Shadowhawk 2H. And so basically, I went ahead and I couldn't get any information about what type of Locust she had. I, I searched and searched through the books. I even reread the paperback books, but I, uh, I couldn't find out exactly which one she had. And so basically, I went with the 1V as a standard build from 3025. So the 1V from, from the 3025 for the Locust was one medium laser and two machine guns and that's it. So this was a pretty hard build, to, lore build to go and have. I could have went with the 1E if I wanted to, but, but I kind of stuck with 3025 as far as like what it is. Now, uh, now another thing too is obviously if we go to Mech Lab here, uh, she didn't have like double heat sinks, she didn't have like any of that kind of stuff, but but I'm running at two, at two heat like anyway, so it's not that bad and four heat sinks and the lore to the 1v according to what the books are exactly what this is here i went ahead went with uh, radar derp obviously all these modules um since he came from the um the oberon confederation they didn't have already strikes or or approve like uavs or anything or meme laser cooldowns and range and target info gathering and all that kind of stuff so they didn't have that but according to game you know basically i had to do something for the game so i went ahead and went with this and worked out pretty well uh, i was highly impressed with the gameplay for this 1v for locust like 1v and it was freaking crazy i'll tell you and then one other thing is that i went with kind of like a, a um, i think it's a pirates one 
um, because she did come from the pirates uh, from from the Oberon Confederation, and so she has pirate markings and low low cost and let's see what a little cuss and all that kind of stuff, a little a little. Uh, little skull there and everything so this is more what she would probably have when she actually attacked Gray, um, Grace and Charlie um, on Trail 1. Now I do have the 2H which I'll give after the first gameplay I'll do some gameplay with that as well and uh, um, turned out it was hard now, the 2H is a pretty or the Shadowhawk 2H is a pretty hard, uh, hard pretty hard one to do man I'll tell you it has four different web, four different types of weapon systems and basically, uh, with my mouse and all that kind of stuff, it's kind of hard to go ahead and use, but it wasn't too bad. There was a lot of fun. But the 1V turned out very well. I'm most highly impressed. I got a kill with it, like I said. And it turned out pretty well. So let's go to, uh, to see to see this here. Obviously, like I said, there's no Indo Steel, no um, no Fair Fibers because it came out maybe in the 30, 40, and 30, 45 around that time. And then the has a standard like engine as well too. So just two machine guns. Now with all the meta builds, you can actually put in uh, like two more machine guns if you wanted to, you know, do that kind of stuff. Raise that to a to a to like an XL engine. But that's all for meta. This is actually just lore builds of Lori Kalmar. So sit back, relax, and definitely enjoy this. I had a lot of fun playing this mech. I might actually play this mech again. Actually, it's hard to use, but it's a lot of fun. Anyways, I'll see you on the battlefield. to see in Hotel A. Target spotted. New target acquired. Try to leg the Jenner if you can. Alpha. Shadow cap by the boat in the water. Warning incoming, 
vessel. Target destroyed. Yeah. Command confirming that we have possession of Kappa. Hostiles have collected 50% of their resources. Capture resource points from them to stop the bleeding. There's three left. The Gamma and Sigma. I'm oh, sorry, that's us. Roger. They have Red resource Sigma. point Gamma. They are a Gamma. destroyed. We've captured resource point Sigma. Almost there. One final push. He's still alive. Where's he at? He's uh, not DC though. He has a ping. Where? Oh, you don't see him though? No, no. I think we're gonna run out of time here. Actually, we got this. Time to find him, I mean. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. We can't find him. We're gonna hide. Target acquired. Fox right over by E7. We've gathered enough resources. GG. This triumph Game, will provide us huge tactical benefits. Wow. <laughs> that was actually exciting. That was scary though, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But I have to say, I mean, lower builds are fun to play, man. Uh, Locust 1v with, uh, I mean, considerably amount of, like, uh, disadvantages. One kill, 211, 211 damage. Uh, match score 227. And then, uh, for the, uh, Sebo bonus, 332. Uh, 3,706. That's gonna definitely add into my stuff there. So, let's go back. Welcome back, Mech Warriors. This is Oba10025 with Laura Kalmar's Shadowhawk. She basically got this after her mech was destroyed, uh, defending Verthandi infantry and so she received the Shadowhawk basically so uh, after her locust was killed uh, so that's what she received and this is what this this is what the 2 H is that's what the one that she that she received inside the books so I went with the you know the great the great death legion really wasn't um, what they were as far as like the um, as far as like the uniforms and everything else so it kind of still went with a uh, more of a pirate-ish type thing uh, forgive me on that <laughs> but uh, I went orange black red and all that stuff so here <laughs> Here goes the mech itself. Now the 2H, a standard 2H, medium laser, LRM-5, um, and then uh, three jump jets, one ton of SRM ammo with the SRM-2, and then AC-5 with 30 rounds. Let me tell you, man, it was hard with just 30 rounds. You really had to place your shots, and hopefully you hit them. Um, there's a couple you'll see in the gameplay that I actually uh, I didn't do too well as far as targeting, but it was still fun nonetheless. It was hard, hard fought. I did fight against a... Uh, against a Huntsman and did pretty well. I basically went in for the kill, then I backed off, and as soon as they started backing off, because they don't have the skills to go ahead and like, uh, go stop and, and go start up again, 
uh, I went around the corner. He was still he, he he was still overheating, and so I went and actually go kill him. And then I went back in, and, and then I got him. But still, a lot of fun. Interesting different mech. 1.36 for heat, standard engine, 275. Now the lore for the 2H, it's exactly what it should be from the books itself. So I guess they took it from the books, and then implemented it like inside here. Of course, like I said, the the uh, the the modules, they, um, the Great Death Legion at the time did not have Imperial. Uh, Emperor Arctic Strikes, improve UAVs, um, cooldown module. In fact, all this is just made up. So just just like before, you had to fib a little bit. I did switch around the armor as far as what it had, and I was wondering why I was getting killed on my on my earlier games of this mech, because it had like 20 points in the in the back armor, so like 34 points in front. I was like, wait, that's kind of crappy. And so I went with uh, I went with 46, 46, 32, 32, 10, 54 in front, eight back, six six, and then 32 is like in the leg, and it worked out pretty good. So. It was an interesting build as far as as far as how it works. Now, as far as uh, the the weapon groups, I have a trouble myself. I have trouble with more than three different keys, and so I kind of keep it like within within three keys. But I went with um, the AC5 on, on one, and then two as a medium laser and SRM2. Now this doesn't really work out as well, but I mainly use the medium laser and the SRM2 when I'm in close combat, like anyways. And the LM5, obviously, you'll you'll see me just starting um, hammering with LR5 rounds. Camo spec obviously is the Buccaneer and went with uh, the colors for uh, the black, uh, orange, and then standard light blue. It worked out pretty well and I didn't have a thing in cockpit. But well, like I said, it was a hard build to run. And if you guys run it, let me see your, um, you know, like let me see your scores and see how you guys do. I'm, I'm just curious how, how, how you guys would do with lore builds and uh, what is your highest scores like in, in those lore builds uh, with the 2H just using this configuration the standard configuration so check it out if you guys can that'd be awesome so uh this is lori kemar and and i'm gonna go and do a quick thing about the great death legion mech that you probably didn't know so let me go back on that and i'll see you uh, real quick target acquired Fucker's gonna hit bad. And I'm gonna be fucking tore up if I stick around here. New target acquired. New target acquired. Artillery strike online. New target acquired. At twenty five per cent. New target acquired. I'm targeting the stalker. Keep firing. I'm on Bravo. Send the LRM. Target destroyed. I'm on it. All right, good job. New target. Acquired. He did. We got. Can we push, guys? This standing around is ridiculous. Let's get some yeah, yeah. Front push. Pushing Delta Five, Juliet. Push, 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 everybody. Move. New target acquired. Juliet's live. Target push. acquired. Charlie. They're all facing a blackjack. Targeting the Nova. New target acquired. New target acquired. Kilo. Took your UAV down. Watch that. Fox truck. LRM ammo at 25%. New target acquired. Yeah. 
New target acquired. Target destroyed. New target acquired. New target acquired. Excellent job. One left. One left. Target destroyed. Good game. Good job. Hey, <clears throat> Good job. Man. Oh, jeez. Probably did nothing for damage. Man, that was 120. I knew we shouldn't. Ah, oh, 177. Not too bad. For a lore build? Wow. <laughs> 214. Oh, my God. 177, one kill, so that was kind of nice. It didn't go against, a, I believe, a Huntsman. That was a Huntsman. So, uh, last shot was under under par. It was 120 meters, but still, I just wanted something to kill that guy with. Hopefully, get a get two kills. But 214, 177, eh, you know, it's there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lore build, but really, really hard to use. But, uh, not, but fun, none the least, though. Okay, so this is the Great Eth Legion Hero Mech according to a Mech War Online is now it is, it's called a Shadowhawk GDL, which is uh, it's a, it's their own creation pretty much, but in terms of the GDL according to lore, um, it was piloted by Cheryl, which was a tech for McKinnon's Raiders, and then once she got enough parts and everything, she took the Shadowhawk that she had and left McKinnon's Raiders and then went and joined um, the Great Eth Legion on Helm in 3028, and so this is kind of like what they have for it. It's it's not bad. It's not a bad design. I mean, of course. Uh, a lot of people just would redesign it like I would. Uh, let's go to uh, go to loadout here. AC-10, two tons of ammo. All right, it's okay. Um, the LM5, I'll drop the LM5. Uh, bring this up to to SM4. Switch us out to SM6 right here. And four medium lasers. Probably if you got um, since you have that extra tonnage, you could probably go with uh, medium pulse lasers. Might be good too. Uh, if you can upgrade the engine a little bit. Uh, definitely, say, yeah, so that's what I would do this and maybe get one or two more tons of, of AC-10 ammo or even get an Ultra AC-5 might be good too, but just all depends. That's basically the the inner specs of the hero mech that they do have. Uh, according to lore and everything else, it was piloted by Cheryl, which she helped with the uh, Great Death Legion on Helm in 3028. So, I do appreciate everyone watching. Thank you for watching, my friends. You guys are awesome. Trust me, you guys are really cool. And it humbles me you guys watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. And just know that, you know, I'll be having a lot more stuff, a lot more lore builds. If you have any suggestions for lore builds, I have the next seven already lined up. Um, and uh, Jamie Wolf is one of them, so just let you guys know. And then I'll be doing a couple other ones. Kind of like uh, unknown figures. And then also, I will be doing clans as well. So all your clanners, don't don't threat. I will, do be, I will, will be doing clans. Or, or clan builds and all that kind of stuff. But I uh, do appreciate like watching, and definitely I will see you on the battlefield. Target acquired.